Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So following on from that Let's Resin unboxing that you saw earlier in the week, these were the molds that came in that pack as well. And I knew from the minute I saw them what I wanted to do with them. They are the perfect size for what I want. So can we guess the colors? <laughs> can we guess what colors Claire's gonna go for? In my defense, in my defense, these are gifts. So there are a couple of gifts here, but also there is a personal one as well. So my best friend, Sarah, her color scheme is exactly the same as mine. It is red, gold, all the traditionals with some white thrown in. So yeah, we are going red glitter. Now this is of course the red glitter from Hemway. If this is the very first video that you are seeing of mine, then yeah, you've kind of met me halfway through the week or towards the the end of a one week worth of videos so I will link a video here if you want to know more about this glitter or more about these pigments and all of the things I'm using in today's video the resin is of course Vista Turbo this is their fast cure resin the white pigment is the Vista white liquid pigment now this was the easy part this was the easy part look how crisp these are I am loving the crispiness crispiness crispness of these the edges are oh they're lovely they're really really lovely and these are perfect now you could make these into gift present tags for your gifts anything really at christmas perfect absolutely perfect they could even be key rings you know christmas key rings for the ones you love because they're just this gorgeous six centimeter size but these are going on the christmas tree now we made two with the red hemway because Hemway red glitter is oh love it didn't really do too well with the gold foil it didn't really come out as well as I wanted it to now we see what we're doing because it's our puppy's first Christmas I know I'm I know I'm giddy like I am ridiculously giddy about the fact that it is our puppy's first Christmas okay so I actually went in and I found <laughs> I found you know a first Christmas SVG a file in the Cricut design space and now you can click on any element of it and change it to personalize it to your own names so I created one for George and one for my best friend's daughter Mila Mila was born oh my gosh guys she's absolutely beautiful I think she's about eight weeks old now but this of course will be her first Christmas so this bauble is for my best friend now she does not watch my channel so she will never know and I also made a third more of a sentimental bauble for one of my friends on here as well so moving on down to my favorite activity which is weeding now I'm not a fan. <laughs> I am not a fan of weeding craft vinyl. You all know this. However, I have never had a problem with um, HTV Ront vinyl. I love HTV Ront vinyl. I adore Tech Wrap vinyl. I adore them both. Um, never had a problem with the weeding. And I really struggled on this. Now, I have weeded things that are a lot smaller than this. You know, the details, the lettering's a lot tighter, a lot smaller than this. And I've not had a problem. But I struggled on this big time. I actually put something else through the Cricut. And it was only then that I realised my blade is on its way out. I had to do kind of little Google. You know, like, it's not cutting properly. I'm using vinyl that I fully love and trust and have never had an issue before but of course my Cricut is what it'll be two years my Cricut will be two years old in January and I've used it all of what 30 40 times max I, I'd say um but yeah the blade is now blunt I have done the hack so there's a hack where you get a whole bunch of tin foil and you screw it up into a ball and then you actually take out your Cricut blade and you stab the tin foil to sharpen the Cricut blade I did do that I did do that after this after I was struggling I did go ahead and do that and it definitely seems to have helped because we have another video coming up tomorrow which is the Saturday night live chat premiere so this video you are watching on a Friday or soon thereafter or in a year from now I don't know if you are watching in real time then tomorrow Saturday evening we have got a live chat my normal Saturday evening scheduled video is going out on a live chat 
it cut so much better for that project because I had done that little bit of sharpening. But anyway, I have ordered a pack of three from Hobbycraft. Um, I think they were like £8.50 for a pack of three brand new precision blades. And I'm guessing if each one lasts me a year, that's kind of alright, isn't it? Because I don't overly use my Cricut. I don't use it in excess. Anyway, back to the video. Um, yeah, it really was hard. It was It was hard to weed, but then it became very apparent when I was trying to pull back the vinyl there were so many things that were just not cut properly they just weren't so I'm gonna save you all the struggle here so there were a few things that happened in the process of weeding this I lost the apostrophe on George's name <laughs> I lost the apostrophe I lost the dot over the I on the first and I really struggled to weed the berries. So we've got the holly and the berry. Um, and the berries were impossible for me to weed. I'm, I, I either need a magnifying glass or the light just wasn't right. I couldn't even see where I was meant to weed those. But I'm okay with it. I'm not angry about it. Um, yeah, you can already see George's name. There's no apostrophe. Oh, and I lost the 2022. So overall... <laughs> Overall, I was debating whether to even share this video with you guys, but it was a cute one and I did it anyway. So if there's, if I ever kind of have one of those days where things just don't go to plan, if you've been with me a while, you'll know that I generally just post it anyway and I'll talk about what went wrong or in, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. We can talk about what we would do differently next time. Um, but yeah, there was a few things that kept on happening in this project because of that blade. But it was all okay. I actually love the way they turned out. I put George's one on, noticing straight away there's so much missing. The dot over the I, the apostrophe in between the E and the S, and 2022's not even there. <laughs> like the most important part I actually did decide um once I had transferred Mila's onto her ball ball I had the same issues it was all the little pieces so the little tiny details on that vinyl were the hardest they didn't transfer over either I just didn't rub it with the um tool enough or they were just too tiny they didn't cut out properly I do not know. But what I know is I actually went back into the Cricut design space and I made a much bigger 2022. The 2022 that came with this design, it really was tiny in comparison to the name. So I did go back in and I made a much bigger 2022 for both of them so that I could then cut those out completely separately and individually and then transfer them on and I was happy with that. Then... I had to go back in and add the <laughs> add the apostrophes and the dot over the eyes. So yes, all in all though, I am honestly happy with the way they came out. They are such a perfect sized bauble for this project. Now in tomorrow evening's video, you will see baubles that are three times the size of these um, because I am doing something very different tomorrow night in the live chat very different outside of my comfort zone if you will but the results are pretty cool and I hope you will also join me tomorrow evening at six o'clock that is also a live chat so if you do come along tomorrow evening at six o'clock remember hit the live chat button and we can just all chat about food <laughs> <laughs> but here you see me just adding in the bits that were taken away so the dot over the eye and the apostrophe and they are done I absolutely love them next thing for me to do is add white ribbon now red and white I don't know what it is this year red and white are I'm loving the red and white vibe like I said in the video of the snowflakes it is so so Ikea it's so Ikea honestly I love them but here we are both tied on with the ribbon. Now I am going for cuddles with Mila tomorrow lunchtime to pop around to my friend's house. She lives around the corner. Um, so I'm popping around tomorrow for a cup of tea, a bit of a chin wag, you know, catch up. And I'm going to be taking Mila's first little tree bauble. And I hope she loves it. 
uh, George's is already on the tree. So yeah, I will, um, I think this is where I was kind of telling you that I was going to try and do the book, do the berries, but I couldn't do the berries, but yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself on the voiceover. This is it now, we are coming to an end, but I also wanted to show you the third bauble that I made. It's more of a tribute bauble um, for the lovely Michelle, who is a friend of ours on here. Um, Michelle just lost her beautiful dog, Coco, and I just wanted to say a huge heartfelt sorry to Michelle. Um, I thought I would make this for Michelle, but I... I also know her colour scheme now, so I might change it up a bit. Um, either way, I am so sorry for your loss. And so many of you I know have lost your fur babies. And I just wish I could do this for each and every one of you. Because I seriously, honestly, just want to hug each and every one of you. So if you are experiencing that, that loss of a loved one, that loss of a family member, one of your fur babies, just know that I am honestly sending you the biggest hug and I wish I could make you all something but this one is for all of you like this one I will be sending to Michelle but it's also for all of you if you are experiencing your Christmas without your family member honestly I cannot I cannot imagine but yes sorry to bring the tone down but I really wanted to share that these these baubles are just the perfect size if you just wanted to make a little keepsake, a little memory, any kind of memory bauble, they're perfect for it. But yes, I hope you have really enjoyed these. I love them so, so much. Again, I think it comes down to that red glitter. Remember, tomorrow night, 6pm UK time, I think it's kind of going off the back of me creating this bauble for Michelle it all came into my head and tomorrow night is gonna be very very specific and something really quite outside my comfort zone but the results are beautiful so yes I appreciate you all very very much and I will see you all tomorrow 6pm UK time until then bye